Registration is now open for the ever-popular Firefighters 10-Mile Road Race, one of the oldest runs in the country. The sun is shining, uh, now's the time to get out there and start running. We encourage everybody to come, we welcome uh, new runners, uh, old runners, everybody. We, we have uh, 13 different age groups that we have in our race, so we would like people to uh, start thinking about the 10 mile road race, start training and of course uh, register. We have the individual 10 mile road race and then we also have the relay, um, which is specific to elementary school, but then we also have high school groups. Group, and uh, and then we have a family group as well for relays and then we encourage you know if you want to do it individually it's good to partner up with some friends or family um, and it's it's better it's easier to train with people sometimes as well. Jolene Banning is new to the running community and she found it a lot easier to stay motivated and stay positive by joining a running group. What I love about the running group is that there's a great group of uh, athletes that sort of know what they're doing. They've got tips if you seize up or if you feel unmotivated. Every week you get a new lesson on nutrition, stretching, running gear, everything. They keep you really motivated and they're a lot of fun. They teach you things you would never know otherwise, like just, just simple things. If you're breathing, what to do if you get a pain somewhere, certain ways to, to work it out. And even just the fact of putting uh, duct tape on the inside of the mesh on your runner so that your toes don't get cold. And it doesn't matter your age, I found out. <laughs> Mary Lee and Sandy are the co-directors of the Fresh Air Experience Running Group. The group has approximately 155 members with eight team leaders. There's a, a, a great number of people and they're from different levels of running. We have beginners that have never run the 10 mile road race before and some people actually ran their longest distance this morning, six miles. And we have advanced runners who are really quite fast and it's a great group of people. We're also looking for gently used running shoes. Um, we send them to Africa and we also are sending them up north to Sandy Lake to a group that's coming down to run the 10 mile road race. It, it's neat. Um, I do the race announcing for it and you look up the, the road and everyone's got the same color shirt coming down and it, uh, it's just, it's energizing because everyone is so pumped up. They're not the elite runners that are out at the front. It's a lot of people that are in the middle and towards the back end that are just out there and they're doing it. With the training they've been able to go out and do the 10 mile road race. If you're looking to be a part of this year's race, head on down to Fresh Air Experience to sign up. But keep in mind, they're moving. We've merged with the cycle path, so it's almost like two 40-year-olds getting married moving into the same house, is how we, how we explain it. And uh, yeah, so we're going to move to May Street across from Silver City. They've, uh, we've got more space there, and so we'll have one huge store doing bikes, running shoes, clothes, and skis. For more information, you can head to www.10mileroadrace.org. Reporting for Go Thunder Bay, I'm Sarah MacArthur.